I was looking into different uh, methods to get um, my iPad or Android tablet running as a second screen. Before I was using a uh, word screen, uh, but with uh, newer versions, there are difficulties, and also with R AMD or um, NVIDIA drivers or graphic cards. Um, I was looking for a better solution and I found one that's uh, way better. For this we have to install uh, 200 megabytes uh, uh, for the application, but um, with um, this method we basically just have to run five commands and um, we have our tablet running. But uh, before we have to do, before we do this, we um, have to install um, two things. One is the Android development bridge, and one is X11 VNC. So if you are new Ubuntu, it would be sudo apt get install X11 VNC, and um, ADB. If you have installed it, you're ready to go for the next step. Um, one thing we have to start with, um, we have to adjust this second screen um, for the resolution of the iPad or Android tablet. Um, so you basically just ad adjust the numbers here. In my case, it's one, um, 1920 by 1200 and uh, refresh rate 60 hard and um, you do this you get uh, the mod line you need you have the mod line you need um, you paste uh, this mod line then you go to add um, this to the HDMI port or the unused port. If you don't know what's the name of your unused port, you simply um, use the command X round R and um, it will show you um, the unused uh, port at the moment. It's HDMI A in my case. Um, so we have done uh, uh, this, then we have to attach the output. Now it started and um, the last command is we need to access this um, with the uh, uh, VNC view. Um, we pasted this over. Be sure that you use the command x11 VNC um, together with a password request. Uh, I'll write the commands down in the description that you can use it, um, but you definitely um, need to um, use the command x11 vnc and uh, store password before and generate a password otherwise everybody can connect to your um, computer. So we have done this uh, and uh, then we can go to the Android tablet in my case. We need to be sure that uh, USB debugging is activated. It is. Um, then we need to activate data transfer. Not only charging or PTP, we need um, uh, data transfer. And we need to activate um, the Android connection to the TCP port. In this case, now it's ADB reverse TCP. And now uh, we can use the USB connection to the Android tablet 
um, this increases the speed significantly. So open the uh, VNC view. Open the VNC view. Uh, write down as connection its local host 59000. Enter the password and we are connected. So, um, how is the speed compared to the other solution? It's quite fast. You can also watch a video on your tablet. It works. Um, with those simple commands, you can put them into a text file and make a script of it. It's one, two, three, four, five. Put them in there, click on it, and it's activated that easy. This is the best solution I uh, could find up to now. It works with AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel.